Now to the other breaking headline from Washington at this hour, the brewing showdown between the president and his new FBI director, his hand-picked director, now urging the president not to release a secret memo reportedly critical of the FBI written by Republicans in the House. The president was overheard leaving the State of the Union last night telling a lawmaker he, quote, 100 percent plans to release the memo. The FBI tonight saying it has grave concerns about the accuracy of the memo. And here's ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. It's a showdown between the president and the man he chose to lead the FBI. At issue, the controversial classified memo accusing the Justice Department of political bias. As he left the State of the Union address last night, the president was caught on camera telling a Republican congressman that he'd allow the memo to be made public. Let's release the memo. Oh, yeah. oh, don't worry. It's 100%. Yeah. This morning, Chief of Staff John Kelly told Fox News it will happen soon. Did you see it? I did. What do you think? It'll be released here pretty quick, I think, and every, the whole world can see it. Hours later, the FBI issued an extraordinary statement directly challenging the president and his chief of staff, saying the FBI had been given only a limited chance to review the memo and, quote, we have grave concerns about material omissions of fact that fundamentally impact the memo's accuracy. The memo was written by Republicans on the House Intelligence Committee, chaired by California Republican Devin Nunes, a close ally of President Trump. Sources briefed on the memo tell ABC News it accuses the Justice Department of acting inappropriately when it obtained a surveillance warrant for a former Trump campaign advisor suspected of being a Russian agent. There may have been malfeasance by people at the FBI. But Democrats on the Intelligence Committee say the Republican memo is misleading because it cherry-picks the facts. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein and FBI Director Christopher Wray met with Chief of Staff Kelly at the White House earlier this week to urge that the memo not be released. It's highly unusual for the FBI to publicly contradict the White House, but Ray made it clear in his confirmation hearing that he is willing to stand up to the president. That you have to be willing to quit or be fired at a moment's notice in order to stand up for what you think is right. All right, so let's get to John Carl. He's live at the White House tonight. And, John, we know that President Trump fired, of course, former FBI Director James Comey. He then handpicked the new director, Christopher Wray. And now this battle between the president and his new director, all this playing out in public. How is this good for the president to be at odds with an FBI director all over again? It's not good, David. And people close to the president take Ray at his word when it comes to what you heard him say at his confirmation hearing about being willing to resign. Now, there is no indication that Ray would resign in this case, but the possibility of losing two FBI directors in the course of one year, that would be troubling for the morale at the FBI. It would be politically devastating and it would be unprecedented. All right, John Carl with us again tonight. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.